We begin tonight with one of the toughest enemies facing the U.S. military, sexual assault within the ranks. There are developments on a number of fronts tonight. We learned today that the Army is investigating sexual abuse allegations against its top prosecutor of abuse cases. Also today, Brigadier General Jeffrey Sinclair pleaded guilty to having improper relationships with female officers and adultery. He still faces more serious charges of sexual assault. There were 5,400 reports of sexual assault in the military last year, a 60 percent increase from the year before. Today, Nancy Cordes tells us emotions were running high as the men and women of the Senate argued over what to do about it. The people who do not trust the chain of command are the victims. After lobbying her Senate colleagues for nearly a year, New York Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand came within five votes today of passing a major change to the military's command structure. The eyes are 55, the nays are 45. Kentucky Republican Rand Paul was one of the early converts. We've known that sexual assault in the military has been a problem decade after decade. I think it's time that we tried something new. Gillibrand's amendment would have stripped commanders of authority over sexual assault cases, putting everything in the hands of seasoned military trial lawyers. South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham voted no. You're indicting the whole chain of command here, folks. That's why I'm so emotional about this. But supporters, including 17 of the Senate's 20 women, brought up example after example of commanders ignoring sexual assault complaints, punishing the victims, or overturning rape verdicts. California Democrat Barbara Boxer. What we do is we say we're keeping this in the military, but we are allowing the experts to make the decision. Military veterans in the Senate were split. Senator John Walsh of Montana voted yes. Senator John McCain of Arizona voted no. Because if you take the responsibility from that commanding officer, then you are eroding his ability to lead. And that is the argument that won the day, though Gillibrand vowed to try again. Many people said to me, Kirsten, I'm going to watch this. If it doesn't get better within the next six months, I'm with you next time. This was a victory for the Pentagon's top brass, which had argued vigorously against the measure. The Senate is poised to pass a bill next week that would make some smaller changes, like giving military prosecutors more influence, Scott, over military commanders when it comes to deciding which sexual assault cases go forward. Nancy, thank you very much.